All right, welcome to this Bitcoin Basics uh, episode. With Unchained, these Bitcoin Basics lessons are designed to help you grow in your Bitcoin knowledge one step at a time by covering one particular topic each time. Today's Bitcoin Basics lesson is going to be on your wallet configuration file. So first and foremost, what is a wallet configuration file? It's kind of a mouthful. Well, it is unique to multi-signature wallets, and what a wallet configuration file is, is a file that contains directions from your seed phrases that your hardware wallets generated. This file contains directions from your seed phrases all the way to your public keys and then eventually to your Bitcoin addresses. So again, that's kind of a mouthful. Really what you can think of this wallet configuration file as is the treasure map to your Bitcoin. You could take this wallet configuration file take it to another Bitcoin multi-signature wallet application and completely rebuild your multi-signature vault. So there's a screenshot there in the bottom right uh, showing what the wallet configuration file contents look like at a high level uh, as shown in your Unchained Vault interface. Um, but really, you know, this file, what is it? It's just a file with directions that a wallet software can read. So why is it important to know about your wallet configuration file? Well, this file allows you to sovereignly recover your Bitcoin without needing to rely on Unchained's interface. If you have this file, the treasure map to your Bitcoin, and you know some something happens to the Unchained platform, you know, we refer to it as a doomsday scenario. If Unchained is unavailable, you could take this wallet configuration file, this treasure map to your Bitcoin, and feed it to another Bitcoin wallet software to rebuild your vault. So in the example screenshots down below, I have a Bitcoin basics vault that I've created on the Unchained platform, uh, funded it with a little bit of Bitcoin. And what I've done with this wallet configuration file for this vault is I've downloaded this file. And on the left hand side, I fed that file into Caravan, which is an open source multi-sig recovery tool uh, that's engineered by Unchained. Uh, it is open source. A uh, completely different interface from the Unchained platform, but I was able to load up my treasure map. My balances were to show exactly correctly, along with the title of my vault, even the Bitcoin Basics vault. And then on the right hand side, I did the exact same thing, but within a wallet called Sparrow Wallet, which also read this treasure map, this wallet configuration file, um, which is just a really nice way for you to know as a user that you don't need to rely on Unchained's interface in order to recover or access your multi-signature Bitcoin, as long as you have your treasure map, your wallet configuration file, and your two devices, you can access your Bitcoin somewhere else. So we know at a high level what the wallet configuration file is and why it's important, uh, but you might want to be thinking about, you know, from a client perspective, from an unchained vault perspective, where can you find it? So for unchained vaults, you can find your wallet configuration file in the vault tools menu on the left-hand side of your vault page. It's underneath your keys. Uh, you have both of your keys noted there in green with the unchained key to the right in gray. Underneath that is a vault tools menu. And it is the third line item down uh, underneath vault tools that says external spend info. To view your external spend info or that wallet configuration file, you can click on view. We also then have a download button on that view page where you can download your wallet configuration file. Now, wallet configuration files are for multi-signature wallets. So if you are using something like a Sparrow wallet or a Caravan, you'd be able to download the wallet configuration file for your multi-signature multi setup over there as well. So now you have it downloaded. Really the last thing we wanna highlight as it relates to your wallet configuration file is how should you secure it? How should you think about securing your wallet configuration file? Well, first and foremost, it is okay to keep your wallet configuration file in digital form. We do allow you to download it uh, from the Unchained platform. Now, low-hanging fruit, something you want, might want to think about right away as soon as you download it, is you don't want it to be kept in an easy-to-find file location like your downloads or your desktop folder. Um, it is recommended that you store this file in a secure location uh, like a password manager, or password protected cloud uh, or encrypted cloud storage. These would be your iClouds, your Google Drives, your Microsoft OneDrives of the world. Again, to have it somewhere that is not just hanging out on your desktop or in your downloads folder, I um, mean, is still accessible by you. 
Now you can make copies of this file and maybe place it on a flash drive or a micro SD card. However, in doing so, you are then tying that file to a physical device. An advantage of storing this wallet configuration file, this treasure map for your multi-signature Bitcoin in a cloud encryption service or even behind a password manager is that you're not gonna be tied down to a specific laptop or a specific flash drive. And you'd be able to access the internet, access your cloud encrypted drive and still have access to that wallet configuration file. So it is okay to keep digital, but you do wanna be thinking about securely storing this file, even if it is digital, because if somebody grabs a hold of this file, you know, the worst thing they could do is they could rebuild your multi-signature setup and they could see how much Bitcoin you have. It's extremely important to note that that individual would not be able to move your Bitcoin. They still need the keys to your Bitcoin in order to move it. But from a privacy perspective, you do want to protect your balances, right? So taking this file, securely storing it um, should be high on your priority list after downloading. Um, but with that, that is our Bitcoin basics section. We do have the wallet configuration file, what it is, why it's important, where to access it in your Unchained Vault, and then how to secure it. Thank you for joining and checking out this uh, edition of Bitcoin Basics. We'll see you in the next Bitcoin Basics episode.